we're going to discuss joint angles relative to anatomical zero and measuring joint angles using dartfish. So let me go back to the beginning of this video. Okay, so we have the first position. Um, the first thing to do in dealing with joint angles is that you need three points to form the angle. So for the knee joint, we typically use the lateral femoral condyle, greater trochanter, and the lateral malleolus. And then Dartfish measures the joint angle, and we see that it's 131.6 degrees. Now remember, Dartfish doesn't understand where we are in terms of anatomical zero. It just, you start at a certain point, you make the angle, and it gives you the value. So you need to adjust these Dartfish angles relative to anatomical zero. So when we're in anatomical zero, right here, um, and we have this angle of 131 degrees, it's actually an angle of 180 minus 131.6 or 48.4 degrees. If we go to the hip joint, it's a similar thing. We use three points, greater trochanter, lateral femoral condyle, and the chromium process. Um, now if we look at this relative to anatomical zero, so you imagine her um, hip is extended, so this is the anatomical zero line, the dartfish angle is very similar to the anatomical zero angle because the hip is flexed almost to 90 degrees. But again, this dartfish angle of the hip would be, the actual angle would be um, 180 minus that angle, which in this case is 90.5. And then for the glenohumeral joint, we use the epicondyle of the humerus, the chromium process, and the greater trochanter. And um, in this case, we have the angle going up from anatomical zero to about 174.0 um, degrees, which you don't have to subtract from anything. And then finally, the ankle joint, which we describe as the three points being the lateral malleolus, lateral femoral condyle, and the fifth metatarsal. And if we want to look at this from anatomical zero, in anatomical zero, you are at 90 degrees of dorsiflexion, so you always subtract that 90 degrees from the angle, so it's 90 minus 74, or 16 degrees of dorsiflexion. So what's the anatomical zero, or the hip, degree of hip flexion from anatomical zero? That would be 180 minus this angle, and that's the end of this video.